I'm Flora Duffy, I'm from Bermuda, and I'm the reigning Olympic and world champion in triathlon. Uh, so this morning I have a swim, and so I'm having a little bit of a snack before I go. Coffee and some toast with some banana and almond butter everyone wants to know. People are always very interested in what we eat. Um, and then after I'll swim, I'll come back and have a bigger breakfast. I mission was accomplished. I won the world title. However, it was very difficult. So I came home, took a week off, and now I feel so much better. I feel like myself again, which is good. So which is why I'm off to you swim and get back into training for the last few races of the season. Which I'm actually surprisingly looking forward to. Um, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna swim with a friend, Monica. Um, she's a really good swimmer. And um, just an aerobic swim today. Although I think it'll be a little bit harder for me than just aerobic. Oh, jeez! Yes, I have a camera. Stop talking. I was just filming him talking. Yeah, but I'm not a talker, so you need to talk. I can talk. Hi. I'm Flora's voice. <laughs> Man, no, I mean, I'm touch and go on fair, so well, I can imagine, yeah. It. We convinced Laura, she's in. Woo. I said, yeah, that's a good, yeah. I think she just won a gold medal. You feel yeah. like you convinced her right now. I, I had five days, yeah, I had five days break and now we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think more of it, which I didn't even expect this to happen, I think was more of like the five years of pressure, expectation, postponement, yeah. Everything. I wasn't expecting that to hit me so hard after the race, yeah. and it did. It was like night and day, like in the best form of my life. Felt so good at the Olympics, and then I've been so dead yeah. after. You know, like Edmonton You're pushing was. It off. Edmonton yeah. was three weeks later, and I could just about get through it. Yeah. And it was like shocking. Yeah. How, yeah. Wow. So anyway, I hate cold water. Yes. So I hope it's not cold. That's like literally my least favorite thing about doing triathlon. In a few weeks I'm doing my first Super League race. It's going to be in Malibu, California, which I'm really excited for. Um, yeah, I've never done one, so I don't really know what the format's gonna be like. I've seen obviously the distances, but the Super Leagues, they just look really hard, really intense, fast racing, and I'm excited for that. I think doing something completely new, challenging me, different tactics, um, is gonna be really cool and sort of something I'm like really excited for right now in my career. Going into Malibu, I'm definitely going to be focusing on my speed because the races are so short. And judging by the start list, I think the swim is going to be so key, especially when you have someone like Jessica Learmonth in there who's just a motor in the water. And you know, with these short races, if you make a mistake or you miss a move, like if you miss the swim break, that can almost be game over. So for me, I'll be focusing on that and focusing on yeah, to have good bike power and definitely being able to run fast because a one mile run, you're gonna have to run very fast. It's gonna be very hard. <laughs> Today my workout was 16 times 25 seconds on, 45 seconds off. Um, so just a pretty light workout um, just to kind of get my legs turning over and get the feel of pace again before I start loading. 
Um, yeah, I find these just like really wake the body up. So whenever I um, come back from maybe off season or if I've had a mid season break like now, I usually start with these sort of short intervals. They just yeah, neuromuscularly wake me up. Um, yeah, and it felt okay. It's quite hard on this dirt and it's quite hot and altitude. Um, but it was nice, good to get a session in again and um, feel kind of okay. I'm very excited for these. Gonna put them in my oats. It'll be delicious. So good. Thank you, Rachel Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it alright? <laughs> yeah, they got some nice things in there. Yeah. Cool. No. I was born and raised in Bermuda. I did all of my schooling there. And that is when I was first introduced into triathlon. I was in a local swim club. I loved to run. I was in a running club at school. And there was a local triathlon on. So my parents entered me. And I think I was seven or eight years old. Anyway, entered this triathlon on my mountain bike and just absolutely loved it. Ended up winning my age group. And the next thing I knew, I joined a local triathlon club. Had lots of friends that did the sport. And Bermuda is a beautiful place and just a, a great place to be doing outdoor sports with our warm, crystal clear water. Swimming is so nice, open water, and just kind of lends itself to doing triathlon. And so I sort of spent my, my childhood doing triathlon, all of the local races. The rest is history because here I am racing full time. It's my profession and um, I've just come back from Tokyo and I completed my childhood dream of winning Olympic gold. Okay, so these are my three bikes that I ride at the moment. Uh, my Hardtail Mountain Bike for Xterra, my ITU race bike, and then my TT bike for any 70.3s that I'm gonna do. Um, they're all very nice, I'm very lucky, but I spend the most time on this on my Tarmac SL7. Um, races pretty much all year, slightly different color that I raced in Tokyo. Um, and then, yeah, this one I'll get some action later in the year when I go to Maui for Xterra Worlds, which I'm very excited about. Um, but today for my ride, I'll be on my road bike. I have a few sprints to do. So.
just rode up Flagstaff, which is a classic boulder climb at the top. Well, depends who you ask if this is the top or not. You can go up a bit higher, but I don't like that section. So I call the amphitheater the top. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice climb. It overlooks boulder. It's really beautiful because you also feel like you get into the mountains. So yeah, just really nice, but quite a hard climb. Um, but. I think the Super League racing is going to be quite hectic because the distances are all different. There's like a short period of time between each race. You've got to set up your transition in like two minutes, get to the start line, start again. It's like all out racing. So I think it's just going to be, I don't know, just crazy. I think I'm going to have to go in definitely with a plan and really think through so I can be as smooth as possible between all of the rounds because I can imagine it can you can get flustered very quickly and that's not going to end well for anyone or me in particular. We leave you tonight with messages to our gold medal winner, Flora Duffy, from the people of Bermuda. The island is buzzing over Duffy's Olympic triumph. And on behalf of everyone here at Bermuda Broadcasting, congratulations, Flora. You did the island proud. That's our newscast. I'm Gray Miners. Thanks for joining us, and good night. Great job, Flora. We were at Docksiders last night watching you with your family. Everyone's so proud of you here in Bermuda. You're an inspiration to all up-and-coming triathletes. Hey, proud to be a Bermudian. Want to pick up Flora Duffy every time. You make us proud, girl. Keep it up. One thing, you made everybody in Bermuda a proud Bermudian yesterday. So keep up the good work, darling. Proud to be a Bermudian. Flora, you did it. So proud of you. The country's proud of you. And of course, when I think back to your early years, set the foundations. When you took off on the run yesterday, I knew nobody could.